Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Vote TV Primetime Show. I'm your host, Nelson Mike Medamo Murioki. Today, it's a beautiful Monday afternoon here in the East Coast. Wherever you are, those who are in Kenya, it's evening, 9.30 p.m. Those who are in Gulf countries, it's 9.30 p.m. Those who are in America and Europe, it's different time zone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we have special guests and we have special cases that we are going to feature today. Now, the main story. Today is a story of my, our sister, Julia Wamoyo, who you have all seen. I posted the story on Facebook page that she has been missing for seven months and she was found dead. My guest today is the biological brother the one and only Paul Miner. Paul Miner, ni bradake. Yes. Julia Wamoyo. Paul, uh, Paul Miner, tafadali, wa, uh, karibu, karibu. Thank you, thank you very much. Ji introduce na umbie, na umbie viewers uko upande gani tafadali. Uh, Mina ito wa Paul. Brada ya uh, Julia Wamoyo. Na niko upande wa mm. mani disaizi. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Paul, um, ebo tumbi lakini um nyumbani mtoka api mtoka api nyumbani uh Kenya mtoka which area? Mtoka upande wa Nyandarwa, county number eighteen. A place mm-hmm. called Ulkalao Shamata. Mhm. Eh, Shamata Kirema. Shamata Kirema. So Nyandarwa County, Shamata Kirema. Okay, thank you, thank you. Again, those who are tuning in, welcome. This is a very, 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 um, uh, it's a very, it's, it's going to be a very intensive show. Today, I'm hosting the brother of the one and only Julia Bamoyo, our sister, who has been found dead in Saudi Arabia after missing for seven good months. So, Tuanzi uh, Wapi. Paul, Julia Litoka Kenya, Oh, uh, when? Ilikuwa mwaka gani? Eh, Aliweza kutoka Kenya 2019. Mm-hmm. Ilikuwa kutoka huku. 2019. Yeah, 2019. 2019, okay, okay. Na Julia akona wa, watoto, ameolewa. What her status? Eh, Julia akona mtoto mmoja saizi kwa pompo. Mhm. Na bado hajapata hii report so yuko na mtoto mmoja lakini bado hajaolewa. Okay, again now uh, welcome welcome to Vo TV Prime Time Show. This is a special edition featuring the story of our sister Julia Wamoyo missing for seven months in Saudi Arabia then finally she was found dead. Today I'm here with the family. Pale juni kona bradake. Paul Miner, and I'm also happy to welcome my sister, uh, Nderito, Waderito, Akiwa Saudi Arabia, who is also the cousin to the victim. Waderito, karibu, 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 salimi ya tutafadhali. Hi, how are you? Habari zenyo, I hope mkopoa. Ayata mimi ni kusarama. Na karibuni kwa show ya Vo TV and uh, we I hope to discuss mengi tutaweza kusaidiana mm-hmm. kwa sababu sasa hii mambo imekuwa mm-hmm. magumu sana imekuwa magumu kama mwandiko wa Kiarabu wa Rai mtu anashindwa utaanzia wapi utawaanzia yeah, wapi yeah, yeah. but god is our, our god is able we will fight this fight and uh, we will mm-hmm. find the victory fight Oh my goodness. I like the way you said it. Imam imekuwa magumu kama maandiko ya Kiarabu. We are here discussing about the loss of our sister Julia Wamoyo. And as I'm talking to you Paul, as I'm talking to you Freshia wa Derito na wale ambao wana watch program today over 200 Kenyans left the airport for Saudi Arabia. Uh so turudi pale kwa Paul, my brother, tuambie Paul um umesema kwamba Julia alikuwa na mtoto mmoja 
Ah, na how old? Eh, jira kwa mtoto mmoja sasa. Eh? Ako how old wa mtoto? Ako na miaka mingapi? Mhm. Mhm. Ako na 17 size, 17 years. Ah, 17, 17. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. Again those who are watching background information let me let's up let's let me actually bring the slide into our wise kwelewa who we are talking about if you haven't seen this story on my on, on my social media page uh let's let me let me introduce to who, to you who we are talking about huyo ni dada yetu our sister Julia Wamoyo went missing for seven months and now she has been confirmed dead Let's uh, also welcome some of the viewers uh Kuna Moses Kokach welcome Rashford Fabio Mayaka tuned in from Don Home Kenya Nairobi Jen Kavera nasema let me actually uh, put these comments kwa uh, kwa screen Moses I say sorry for your loss may God give the family strength uh to Kona Susan and asema hello guys I'm watching from Saudi Arabia Kuna Fatman Nasmi you welcome my sister Manasema wanajuliza kwani tulikosea wapi huko Saudi Arabia aki watoto wetu wanaishia huko Saudi Arabia Mungu azi asikie maombi yetu na machozi yetu uh, Paul wewe ukiwa brother yake Julia ukiona hiyo picha na tukijua sasa hii tukiongea nawe hapa hayuko how does it feel unasikiaje eh yenyewe ni maumivu lakini sasa itabidi tu sasa tumekubali matokeo manake hiyo ndio tu njia. Ndio ni ngumu sana kwa mtu kama huyo kufia upande kama huyo manake sasa hizi kama angekuwa hapa ingekuwa ni at least. Lakini sasa itabidi tu tumekubali matokeo. So, waje tuanze hii story. Maina wewe uko Kenya, Waderito ako Saudi Arabia. Ah, uh, waje tuanze na Waderito. Waderito Uh, uliniandikia hii message jana tarehe kumi septemba nilipost story ya Julia wa Moyo nikisema kwamba she is missing when did you get the information ya kwamba Julia is um, uh, has passed away na muliambiwa ako wapi Okay Nelson eh, let me say that hiyo information nilipata kutoka kwa my cousin anaitwa Joel uh, Joel akiwa Kenya mm. na vile alini chat hiyo message uh, okay niliona ni kujurisha kwa sababu kulingana na vile aliniambia mwenye aliwapata information also aliseme ati asitajwe na jina sasa najiuliza mm. aje mbona asitajwa mbona ana hide kwani ni nini anajua kuhusu kifo cha juria na mbona anasema asitajwa na jina secondary inaweza kani kama nitumie jina ya kikuyu matoho huu unajua si vizuri mtu kuongea kitu yenye ajui ama kupatiana habari kulingana na vile haelewi vizuri alisema juria mm-hmm. ako ako huku riyad e, mochari inaitwa yasmin sijui hot hot bra 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 kitu kama hiyo but for sure mm-hmm. here in real hakuna mochari inaitwa hivyo mm-hmm. and um, ma foreigners wote wenye huwa wanakufia pariad huwa wanapelekwa shemesh hata wewe unajua hivyo si ndio yeah That's right. especially wale especially ka... yeah especially yeah. kama kuna issues za documentation wengi wao wanapelekwa wanapelekwa shemesh mochari that's right yes yes sasa hiyo mochari mm-hmm. yenye alisema juria ako hiyo yasmin mm-hmm. yasmin mm-hmm. iko press inaitwa hell hell kutoka mm-hmm. hell kutoka riyadh city kwenda mpaka hell city ni mm-hmm. more than eh, eh, tuseme ni kitu kama 720 kilometers mm-hmm. kama kutoka, kutoka na kwenda kwenda mpaka sijui mpaka niseme ramu ama niseme wapi it's mm. very far hiyo mm-hmm. presi yenye anasema hiyo hiyo mochari yenye anasema and um, mm. sasa swali yenye najiuliza ni mimi ninajua nilijua juria ako huko Riyadh na alikuwa ananiambia mm-hmm. ako huko Riyadh 
na mm. hata ninaweza nikakutumia uh, nini voices za mwisho zenye tuliongea na yeye Julia mm-hmm. na alikuwa sawa mm-hmm. kabisa hakukonjwa mahali alikuwa sawa although ninasikia alikuwa na, na affected na anemia but mm-hmm. uh, tukiongea na yeye alikuwa strong na alikuwa ananiambia uko sawa how comes alifika Aji Hill city alifika Aji Hill hiyo ndio ni maswali yenye najiuliza alifika Aji huko tuliongea na yeye January nini ya mwisho kutoka January sasa hapo hivyo ndio alirudi akaenda missing hela alifikaje ikiwa ako hiyo moja yenye inasemekana hiyo ni nini Yasmin alifikaje hela mm-hmm. na huyo mwenye ah, anatuma alituma hizo message mwenye anatuma hizo message mbona anasema mm-hmm. sijuri ataki kujulikana lazima hiyo namba tupate ndio tuweze kupata information more information na tujua kwa wapi exactly kama ko hela sasa tuje mm-hmm. nijitayarishe vile ntena baka hiyo confirm hiyo ni mwili yake. Yeah. Right. Na kama ko That's nini kuna simu nyingine bado iko Jeddah. Mm-hmm. You know press code Jeddah city ya Jeddah. Also kuna ya simu yeah. nyingine. So lazima okay. apatiane information correct. Jo unajua sasa hizo hizo ni safari ndefu, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. very long journey. Uh, yeah. but right. kesho Uh, next week unajua sasa huku wiki huwa inaanza on sunday eh, wiki zetu mm-hmm. huwa zinaanza sasa sunday yani sunday huku ndio kama mande ya kenya so on sunday yeah. ninataka nitaenda kwa kenya embassy ndio waweza kunipatia barua mm-hmm. eh, barua yeah. yenye ninaweza nikaenda nayo shemeshi lazima ni confirm shemeshi kama ako huko anaweza kuwa maybe ako shemeshi you know you doesn't know sasa nitaenda right. kwa embassy ndio wanipatia barua mm-hmm. alafu ndio niweze mm-hmm. kwenda shemeshi ne ni confirm kama ako huko yani mm-hmm. inshallah kuwe tu ako huko yani isikuwe tena ni mzigo tena nyingine kuupwa but nitajaribu vile nitaweza mpaka nitafa, nitapata nini good eh, information now let's go back to familia yake um, uh, i mean uh, the brother uh, paul maina akiwa malindi then i also have to let me welcome my sister jerry akiwa nakuru welcome jerry Uh, continue to follow up with this story you will also i will also uh, invite you to give your input i also i'm also going to welcome another fifth guest uh, rehema is here rehema ameingia uni mtana ambao mimi nimeokoa kutoka iraq you know her story as we proceed na his story ya um ya julia paul mara yako mwisho kuongea na na julia na kusikia sauti yake ilikuwa lini kwa oh, let me give me a second yeah yeah okay okay and uh, na mulipongea remember ilikuwa ni mwaka huu alikuwa ametoka uko na alikuwa ametoka Kenya 2019 um alisha alikuwa amewaambia kwamba anapitia changamoto fulani alikuwa amewaambia ako na shida fulani na na kafiri ama mambo ilikuwa poa kabisa. Alikuwa hajatuambia mambo na corruption na majuzi wake. Maana yake kila saa tukiongea yeye alikuwa ananiambia yuko sawa. Alikuwa okay. ananiambia mambo. And the good. Na, yeah. mm. Okay. Lakini mara yake mara mara ya kuongea na, na na Julia the last time ilikuwa ni seven months ago ilikuwa ni mwezi wa pili. Ah uh, waderito Unaweza kumuka the last yeah. time mulio, we mulio, mulio pia na, na Julia? Ya, yeah, Julia tuliongea na ye January. January, okay. Na ya, yeah. e, na vile tuliongea na ye, e, nilikuwa ninamuitia kazi mahali. Okay. Na hiyo kazi ilikuwa ni kazi ya Egyptians, watu ninafahamu vizuri, mm. familia mzuri, so na walikuwa wanalipa mm-hmm. vizuri nikamuelezea so akaniambia presenye ako wamemcherewesha mm-hmm. kiasi kupata mshahara wajamulipa bado but akipata tu mshahara ataweza kutoka mm-hmm. okay. so nikamwambia uh, ni sawa uh, we uki, uki nini ukimaliza mm-hmm. we unipigie na nitakupinia location ukuje unipate mahali penye mm-hmm. niko ya yeah, hivyo ndio tuliachilia oh. yani tuliongea naye ilikuwa this year january so that was in january 2022 Uh, yes. we are in september so it's exactly about 9 10 months now yeah. there's something also pia uh, before ni ni, ni rudi kwa paul bradake 
uh, wadarito unajua unajua mambo za Saudia unajua mambo za kuwa kwa contract ama kukosa kuwa kwa contract so uh, just to make me understand na wale ambao wana watch program ya leo was Julia alikuwa kwa contract ama hakuwa kwa contract Ah uh, Julia hakukuwa kwa contract. Okay. That's yeah. now a very that also clear information ya kwamba Julia hakuwa kwa contract. Paul acha na acha nirudi kwako. Um your sister alikuwa na tumesikia mambo za kuwa alikuwa na alikuwa na anemia. Hiyo ni kitu ulikuwa unajua? Ndio hiyo nilikuwa nimejua. Okay. Okay. Kwa hivyo hata akitoka Kenya alikuwa alikuwa na anemia. Okay, good, good. Um we are just trying to uh, understand the we have to understand the background of this whole story as we now try to seek answers uh, to find answers of what's going on. Njeri uh welcome, welcome. I would like you to speak but I would like you to unmute your microphone. Um utupatie input ukiwa kwa sababu uko Kenya. Um yale ambayo umesikia so far about our sister Julia Wamoyo. Uh, what do you have to say? Hey guys. Uh, first na sema condolences to the family. It's not easy. It's another day still we are discussing about people being dead and uh, na feel the government is too silent on this one because definitely as much as tunasema watu wasiende kuna watu bado wako huko mm. and still they are going mm. through all this trouble umeona so mm. we are still tunasema wasiende but how are we protecting those who are there already how are their lives that's, safe yeah how are they protected that's right that's right yes that's how right. are they protected because as much as wale like a friend amerudi juzi recently from Saudi but uh mm-hmm. is not easy being there she's been there several times coming and going but it's not a conducive environment for living in but by the end of the day yeah. she has to look mm-hmm. she has to survive she has to get that money so i feel Yes, tumekuwa na hiyo fasting I was not on air but I was doing it silently but I feel okay, the government is so silent. Mm-hmm. So let's keep on praying because it's not it's, the battle is not in our hands but let's believe the battle iko na Mungu. Now that's where we will only get comfort. Na hapo tukimlilia I feel our the, mm-hmm. our cry we can only get comforted mm-hmm. from God but as for now I feel mm-hmm. Okay. Jerry is out. Now let's uh as I wait to bring to bring her back in. Their lives. Uh, okay. How so many are going to lose their lives? So it's so painful. Okay. Uh, before that one there's something I want us to have a look at right now. Let's have a look at this right now. Leo he uh remember I have my people all over the place Nikona watu wangu all over the place I get information from all over the place Let's have a look at this picture uh, these pictures Amazon nilipokea asubuhi ya leo hawa ni wa Kenya wakisafiri inchi ya Saudi asubuhi hii ndege ilikuwa ni Saudi Airlines ndio hawa Let me first of all Let's have a look at that picture. Ndio hao. In ndege ya Saudi Airlines 90% of the of the people who were in that flight were all going to Saudi Arabia. All young Kenyans like what you see here. Let me make this picture bigger. There you are. Mnaona Paul unaona? Wadarito Unawaona? Njeri, unawaona? Mm-hmm. Uh, I want us to discuss about this for a few seconds. Those who are watching, welcome to Vote TV Primetime Show. I'm your host, Nelson Mike Madam Murioki. Today, we have a special case of our sister, Julia Wamoyo, who has been confirmed dead after missing for seven months. Also, special guests, Julia's biological brother, 
Paul Minor is here, watching from all the way from Alindi. Her cousin, Waderito, who is in Saudi Arabia, and my sister, Jerry, is here as a special guest who's watching from Nakuru. Those who are watching, can you comment? I want, to, um, I want you to comment. Look at that picture. As we are here talking about every day about people that we are losing, our sisters who are, who are being killed and others who are dying in the country, in, in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, they are leaving the country in thousands. This is a flight from today. Saudi Airlines that had more than 200 Kenyans. Paul, tuanzia na wewe. Ukiona picha kama hiyo. Ukijua sasa tuko hapa tunaongea mambo za sister yako. Alafu unaona picha kama hii. How does it make you feel? Ukiangalia hiyo picha na sikia vibaya. Na idea mm. that we should do something on that. And mm. also to the agency that is doing deportation of people to that Saudi Arabia country. Mm. Here it was a protect young souls like those ones that are perishing in that foreign land. Uh, what you the thing is, on one hand, I, 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 for the longest time, the, the, the issue of, of Saudi Arabia is a double-edged sword. On one hand, kuna hali ambao anasema ya kuamba, hey, nyumbani ya kuna kazi, uchumi ni mbaya, gava imetuachilia, kwa hivo, badani kufia hapa na njaa, wacha njaribu uh, kutafutari uh, riziki Saudi Arabia. Waderito, let me bring this, let me bring back this picture. Umekua hapa tukiongea hizi mambo. Ndiyo hao? Unawaona? What do you say? Ungekaa chini kuongea, mm. we, we mwenye uko Saudi Arabia. Unge, ungepatiwa na fasi ya kukaa chini uongea na kila moja wa hawa wasichana unge wambia jileo hii. And ungepatiwa na fasi ya kuongea na hawa wasichana mini unge wambia kwanza e, wasimame yu safari kukuja Saudi Arabia kwa sasa. E, baka ijulikane ni nini ni nasababisha vifo. Kwa sabu siyo juri ya peke yake ya mekufa. Kuna watu wengi sana wamekufa hapa kila siku huwa unareta hapa hivi. So hatujui ni nini yeah. kenye kinaendelea. Hata mimi maripeni yeah. niko saa hizi si ati niko na furaha, hata ninashindwa mpaka nikulala. Niko na stress. Niri, hata nilikuambia, si nilikuandikia nikakwambia nitaondoka hapa nitarudi nyumbani soon. Yeah. Yeah. Kusema ukweli right. mimi nimeokopa kabisa kwa sababu eh, warabu pia wamebadilika sana siku hizi. Au warabu wenye tuko nao sasa sio wenye tulikuwa nao hapo mbeleni. Siku hizi mm. hawaogopi Mungu kabisa. Unajua warabu siku hizi hawaogopi Mungu. Mbele hiyo walikuwa wanaogopa Mungu but nowadays no. Wamebadilika kabisa. Yeah. Na yeah. Eh, Ivo vile wana nini, hata e, vile wana kataria. Unajua kwanza sasa mtu wata kukufia Saudi Arabia, sasa hiyo kwanza ni stress ingine mbaya sana. Afadhali mtu kukufia mm. kwa au. Kwa sababu kitu moja, umekua na karanja hapa unaona vile mezungushwa. And yeah, by the way, yeah, karanja yeah. kwanza kisi yake imeendaje, amepata bibi yake ama bado? Sa so the last, uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you an update, but there alikuwa ingia hapa akiwa guest, lakini let's see vile kunandelea. Uh, the last alipigiwa simu jana akambiwa agoje simu kutoka kwa airline company ile ambayo italeta mwili wa njeri so lakini like, oh, sure. atuko ambiwa when atuko ambiwa anything hiyo tu imekaa tu hivyo for sure eh, eh, Nelson for sure kusema ukweli mwili wa mm. mtu kusafirishwa mm. Kenya hata kama wanaweza wakalipisha vile tunalipa ticket 40000 ama 50000 si ni vizuri mm -hmm kuri kukuitisha pesa mm. zenye wanaitisha pesa mingi hizo pesa zote zenye wanaitisha zinaweza zikatoka wapi shwari eh mwili wa mm. mtu kwa sababu mm. hata ina file pisho rese than ticket kwa sababu inakuja kama kago vile inakuanga imeraapiwa mm. yani kama tu kago mm. inafaa kulipishwa half mm. price ya nini ya mm. ticket but sasa wanakuwa wakitisha pesa mingi unashindwa mtu na amekufa hizi pesa zenye wanaitisha hizi zote hakukuwa na bili ya hospitali hakukuwa na nini mm. alafu wanaitisha mm. hizo pesa za nini Iyo si ni kuonesha na watu kutu kabisa. Watu wamebadilika wamekuwa kama wanyama. Sasa ni nini tutafanya? Mi isipokuwa mi niambia wa Kenya wenye wanapanga kukuja Saudi Arabia waache kukuja. Na kama hawana masikio wakikuja huku. Na hata mimi kama 
serikali inaweza sikia hii afadhali tutumie ndege moja Kenya Airways ama mbili mwenye ko tayari kwenda nyumbani arudi nyumbani aende nyumbani e mwenye ko wakuje ah. waleta ndege hapa hivi embassy tutangazie serikali imeleta ndege kila mtu mwenye anasikia right. hayupoa arudi nyumbani arudi Na, nyumbani funge kabisa kabisa complete ile kufunga siri yeye wanafunga siku mbili tatu wiki moja wamefungua wafunge kabisa safari za kuja Saudi Arabia kwa sababu sasa hii imekuwa ni too much watu wanauliwa kuuliwa kuuliwa kwani hata mbeleni wakati hakukukua na hizi mambo za kukuja Uarabu ni si watu walikuwa wana survive watu walikuwa wanaenda wanafanya kazi vibarua za mikono na wana survive sio lazima timutu wa kuja ati Saudi Arabia ati ndio nini atajiriki ama apate pesa ni mambo mingi sana by the way tukafanya Kenya sio lazima tukue ati tuko huku by the way let, uh, let, uh, let's read let's, let's read the comment yeah my sister Shix J Shix J welcome welcome I appreciate you my sister and by the way again if you want to contact Vo TV angalia kwa screen there's um, uh, there's the Vo TV WhatsApp number if you want to contact me through Vo TV Uh, for an interview or to report a case the number is right there plus 1571361304 angalia kwa screen kama uko na kesi ama kama you want to come here as a guest the number is right there let's read e comment here shix jamba anasema kenyans are traveling a lot a lot of them because they buy girls at a cheap price the demand is high they can't afford the price of philippines and indonesians bay ni raisi wanaweza wakanua tena wa Kenya kwa bei raisi 60000 Kenya shillings kwa msichana mmoja but also as us as confirmed by the ministry of foreign affairs we have cartels who are selling Kenyans for as much as 300000 shillings pa go jerry biashara is booming let me tell you something when i see this hii ni kumaanisha biashara imeshika. Kwa hivyo when it comes to the agents all they are worried about and what they are concerned about is the money. Let me show you more pictures. Again this is what uh wale ambao wamekuwa kwa Facebook page yangu leo the comments are here in hundreds but let's look at this there you go there you go mna waona ndio hao uchumi ni mbaya Kenya wacha tukajaribu tujaribu bahati yetu Saudi meanwhile let's Let me read some comments. Monica Njeri anasema huku ni kumoto sana watu waenda nyumbani aki Vivian Wani anasemaje? Nimeona kwa news wanasema watu wafanyiwe training tekashindwa kwani wanauawa kwa kukosa kujua kazi. I mean Paul Unasikia ile ujinga iko? Ati watu wafanyiwe training Vivian and that's a good question kwani wanauliwa kwa sababu ya kuja ya, ya, ya kosa kujua ya, ya kosa kujua kazi um lem, let's go back kumbukeni tulikuwa hapa juzi tulisikia ule jamaa anaitwa Anjoroge akisema ya kwamba uh, wasichana wana wanasafa kwa sababu hawajui what did he say let me let, let me let me remember his words um let's start with masharia ambaye alisema ati Kenyans are suffering because they are not submissive to the employers. Eh? Jerry, they are not submissive to the employers that's why they are suffering. That's the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs like Sam Ibo. Second secondary. Tulikuwa hapa last week nilikuwa na kesi ya yule msichana ambaye alikuwa alikuwa amerepiwa. Mulisikia yale ambao ambao alituambia hapa. And still Bona Njeroge one of the top officials at Asmac alisema kwa press kwa press conference yao ya kwamba Saudi Arabians Waarabu they have their beautiful women wako na asti wako na wanawake wao hawahitaji wa Kenya kila wakati tukiwa confront 
na hizi issues they always come back with stupid excuses easy comments tafadhali ziendelee kupanda hapa and let me welcome my sister also from nakuru today i have nakuru imeja kwa nyumba let me welcome frida also from thank nakuru you. thank you welcome frida uh frida i know you've been uh, 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 you, you have some updates of what has happened when the rito is here um what do you have to what do you have to say about uh, what you've seen so far here our kenyans this is a flight today heading to saudi arabia over 200 ladies were in that flight what do you say hey, about this you know each day you tell me you only cover 1% 1% of what of uh, of the complaints you get and because right. things are overwhelming and i don't know i, I really don't know where, where they are going there because right now things are these things are so bad at Saudi Arabia i wish they knew how the families suffer after all those maybe some of them the problem is not only those people who are who are dying there but the kind of suffering that people are suffering there yeah you need too much sana watu wanateseka huko sana i wish tu watu wangejua what they go through there i wish tu wange they look for other solution Saudi Arabia should not be any anything it should not come anywhere kama solution ya kwenda ya ku ya a problem someone is undergoing cuz there are so many things to do there are so many I people who are watching understand. this broadcast and i want nataka wale ambao wana watch wana watch program ya leo waangalie waangalie hiyo picha kwa screen right now huyo ni Paul Maina sister kama kofia Saudi huyo ni waderito kazi yake ya kofia Saudi huyo ni Frida kazi yake a relative to Hana Njeri amekofia Saudi Look at that no those who are watching right now I want you to look on the screen for you to understand what's happening here Paul Maina Nikuliza swali Mstana kakuja kuambia ataka kwenda Saudi sasa utamwambia nini Yeah. Mstana uka mtu akakuja kuambia anataka kwenda kufanya kazi Saudi Arabia sasa utamwambia nini? Ungemwambia nini? Na ningemwambia hata maana kesa hata wakienda huko na kwa kazi ngumu. Kuna kesa hizi hali si nzuri hata pia wakienda kule bali matatizo yako huko nyingi. Wow. I think we have another guest who wants to join the show. Let me see who it is, but the camera is not working. Jerry, I had this conversation with uh, Fr- Frida yesterday. By the way, Frida and Jerry, I want you to network because you're both in Akuru. Frida has is an entrepreneur, she's a financial advisor. But let's talk to Jerry. Jerry akona. Jerry akona biashara ya kuuza just tell them what you do Jerry before the niendele. Ah uh, I'm um, Jerry of Nash Bake. I'm an entrepreneur. I deal with cakes, all location cakes that is birthday weddings and all that. I also make yogurt and ice cream and I am also into laundry services around my area which is Lanet. Wow. Excuse me. Did you hear that? Did, 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 did you hear what she said? She said my name is Jerry. I'm an entrepreneur. I bake cakes. And I also provide laundry services within my area. Mm. Okay. 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 Kwa wale ambao wako hapa na wako Saudi. Nani ajui ku provide laundry services? Nani hapa juu kupika chapati? Nani hapa juu kubeki mandazi? Nani hapa hizi akaingia kwa jikoni ya nunu a bake cake? Let me ask this serious question. Because sometimes the biggest mistake you make 
is you're chasing something which you think has great, has, has greater value. Alafu munacha diamond kwa nyumba. That's my honest sure. opinion. Sure. I repeat, Jerry. Jerry, umekuja, you came here last week. Now, by the way, Jerry, thank you very much because I, I found Jerry on Facebook. Uh, I do a segment called Promote Hustle Yako. What are you What are you doing? Very good. And how's the cake? Jerry, talk, just talk to these Kenyans. Look at them. Talk to them. Speak. <coughs> if you it's went to the a, airport right now, what would, you, me. What, what would you tell yes. them? A first thing I would ask, are you normal? Muko normal? <laughs> because <laughs> That's the first question I'll ask. Muko normal? Because ata leo kwa radio nimesikia that uh, the, the agency hawana kazi na nyinyi the moment umeshaingia mm. Saudi they are done it's a done deal so is that money right. worth your life is that money worth right. your life as in wezi kitini but i've come to realize uh, let me god forbid or rather mungu anisamehe people are lazy outside here Watu mm. ni, wa, ni lazy. Watu wanataka kukupa spoon fed. As much as you empower them, they want you to spoon food them. Ati you empower someone the next minute, can you employ me? Go fast and practice because as it is that huko nje unaambia go 3 years experience. Not that I have a degree mm. in something very different sociology. But wow. I have uh, I've done CPA. I've done I think I have several today I was looking at my papers and I'm like I'm so much qualified kwa industry but what do I do? <laughs> I go back to the drawing yes. board. Sina kazi, sijapata kazi. That's right. Sisi sijapata kazi. I've tamaked like, right. uh, I've tamaked for 4 years and we had to sit down a habi. Nimwambie la kila hapa ndio kuna kaa hivi things are tough but akaniuliza what are you good at I love this conversation what are you good out keep, keep talking and then akaniambia he saw Let's that see. I love I love baking we bought our first oven and he was like Baderito. now you can start you see and from fair I should get I took it upon yes. myself he took me to school mm-hmm. for like one year I felt it's enough. I want to go back to use my hands and make money. But That's it right. starts from here. First thing first, I come from an entrepreneur family. My mom used to hawk things for us to survive in this Lanet area. He used to hawk things for us to survive. Until now, we've survived from her skills or rather entrepreneur entrepreneur mind and That's, That's what right. we are five kids we are five kids and we are hustlers I'll call ourselves hustlers because we have Hustler. our papers but kazi. but hakuna kazi what do you do but one thing I thank Ka-wema. my husband Rasheri. that Rasheri. yes Rasheri. yes I just put up yes. uh, just a book in your house eh and then There's something I want to there's something I want to speak to all the viewers who are watching and I'm going to look at you in the camera. Munaskia le munaambiwa leo hii kwa Vote TV primetime show. Are you listening what is being spoken here today? There's something I said yesterday those who are watching. Paul Minor. Waderito. Frida. Jerry. Isini kiangalia Paul Paul Konza now na wewe ni one of my I, I, I always have a very good connection with Wakorino I'll tell you why Paul amevaa ile kofia Paul ni wacha wacha nikuulize swali kwa biblia kuna pale imeandikwa we perish because of lack of money hakuna hakuna 
I repeat, is there anywhere to remember your Bible? We perish because of lack of money. No. no, but we shall perish because of lack of knowledge. It's the knowledge. Yeah. I was talking to Frida yesterday in the corner, Muliza. We shall come to you, Kapata, Umbwa Kipiga, Mswaki. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a dog brushing his teeth? More than that, we. We shall yoda. I'm asking. No. Because God gave us human beings, the authority. He first of all gave us the mind, which is the most powerful thing that you have. Kuna kitu njeri ya mesema apa. Those who are watching, take a piece of paper and, I mean, take a, take a pad and take a pen. Take notes. Njeri ya mesema, nikona degree ya sociology, nikona sijui CPA, nikona sijui na motura huwa something, nikona sijui na maebe fakote. He, she had all this paperwork. Lakini baada ya kutama na kukosa kazi, there's something that she has said, and I say this all the time. I had to go back to the drawing board. Na kusema sasa, ni kuchora. And the question you asked yourself, Njeri, is what are you good at? Now, everyone who's watching here, nataka uandike kwa comments, kwa chat. Leo mekuja shule. Kwa delito. Frida, Jerry, Paul, and your friend. Nataka mwandike hapa kwa comments. You tell us. Tell me right now. What are you good at? One thing. And as you as you are writing those comments, I will connect that with the Bible again. The Bible never says that money will open way for you or money will open opportunities for you. No. The Bible says your gift, your G-I-F-T, your gift is what will make way. Paul, sijasikia amen. Aikaleta au. Aiko hujadira hujia. Amen. Oh, money will make way for you. Oh, money will make opportunities for you. No, 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 no. It says your gift. And I'm connecting that with what Njeri is saying. Njeri, by the way, a degree in sociology. She did degree Ghani. All the paperwork. After she did all that, she figured out, I have to go back to the drawing board and figure out what am I good at. So everyone who's watching here, tell me. What are you good at? And what you're good at is your gift. Frida. You know, Frida has a, uh, is multi-talented. She, 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 she tunes on as a guest <laughs> and watches the team at the same time. <laughs> so, Nikashari, please continue with your story. You are, you are about to, there's something else I'm about to say. You said, you said I thank my husband. Ebonzi hapo kwa sababu hapo penta ingilia. Kwa sababu huku huku kuna mhambo. Basi go mata huku tayari hapa. Is it wrong? I'll say Endelea. let it go on record. <laughs> I thank wala kila nyongesa. That's his name. Hey. Because hey, amesaidia huyu mchana. Huyu mchana amemsaidia. Because one thing Nikioleka siku kwa najua kupika he taught me how <laughs> like chapati and all that in fact i also yeah. cook chapati chapati mandazi yeah. i'll sell them all anything that brings me money and has something to do with cooking i'm down for it i'm down for it <laughs> so i'm not limited to what i'm doing because one thing I'm not paying rent. Uh, I do everything from my kitchen. So That's right. I tend to develop right. my kitchen in that standard that this is where everything 
for consumption comes from it. So one thing, That's right. I had to look at the opportunities that I have, the things that are uh, that I have that are at, uh, that are at my disposal, and work yeah. with them. Because I've realized I've been <laughs> giving myself so much excuses. That siwezi fanya, siwezi fanya kwa sababu sina na sina na sina. Whatever you have that time, That's make right. it work for you to get. Ile ove nilianza nayo, sahi na yekaka yes. kama backup. I had to buy a bigger one. I think is uh, 20 oh. times. 20 times. Listen. Is is Mr. Wa is Wala is Wala calling your guest in that house? No, we he's far away. I live with my kids okay. around. Yes. Yes. Okay, so, but now look here, look here. Mm -hmm. Look here. Wait, stop there. Everything Jerry you will do, everything you're going to say here, I will break it in biblical terms. Paderito, let me test your knowledge. Paul, my brother. Let me test your knowledge. Frida, let me test your biblical knowledge. Do you know the story of the woman in the Bible who had, who only said she, when she was asked by the prophet, what do you have left in your house? She said, I have a little jar of oil. I, I see crickets. I yes. hear crickets. Prophet Elisha. Okay. Frida Jui. Paul. I only have Kidogo. Let's go back to Jerry. Jerry, what did you what did you have? All she had was a small oven. But she had to find a way of how that oven can become a bakery. Let me tell you something. A Kenyan who's working as a domestic worker, while I'm going to finish you make 800 shillings a day. 800 shillings a day. Those who are under contract. Okay, mini kwa America. Stay kwa Mbia. Kwa sabu ya ata yo 700, yo 800 is like six something, six dollars. Iyo ni kombe ya kahawa. Ata suwezi ni kapata ata mandazi. Iyo njeri. Iyo ni kahawa peke yake. Ni kingi hapa Starbucks. That's six dollars of coffee. But now, njeri, 800 shillings a day. You have a mandazi business. You have a pastry business. You're selling chapatis. And you are, you are picking the little things that you're doing. 800 a day. Mtu wakona kichwa mzuri, mtu wakona naeza, mtu wakona kichwa mzuri, mtu wakona mbaya ni, ni chap chap. You can make that money a day in Kenya. You can make... Hey, me, eight, 800... Eh, iyo ata mafuta gari ya iniweke, ata kudeliver. <laughs> I will say that. Because I know my expenditure. Say mafuta vile imepanda, I need to do, as in 800, ata nikeka geja isongi. So, 800 for me is too little to get my expenses. Frida. Because, mm -hmm. yes. Today, the Nakuru Women County <laughs> representatives have dominated the show. Ata anderito, ata anderito ni wana wa kuru, na wana kuapa. Frida, yes. before I ask anderito, and, and I'm going to ask you first, and then Tauliza wa anderito, mm -hmm. then Tauliza Paul. Uh, Frida, are, are Kenyans lazy? Yeah, they are, they are, and uh, and they don't. Most of them, they don't believe in what they can do. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe they can, uh, something good can come out of them. Uh, that's, the, that's the main challenge. Most people are so what? talented. They can do so many things, but uh, they're still going there, 
nini and they don't they, people are talented people can do so many things there's so many things to be done but i don't know but i believe everything starts from the from the mind from everything the brain starts from the mind yeah Now, yeah yeah but before before we proceed let me there's something i want to play for you right now allow me to introduce a new case as i proceed just give me one second there's a lady by the name helen owino huyu msichana alianikia akiwa upande wa iraq alikuwa supposed to join show ya leo lakini amekuwa na shida ya network and i want you sitaki kuongea i want you to listen yale ambayo what's going on with our sister just give me one second i'll bring back the slide mina and your friend frida jerry waderito and those who are watching please pay attention and i want you to listen to this story mambo nelson mimi natumia toka bitere nilikuja huko iraq mwezi wa januari wakati nilipokuja huko tukakaa kwa ofisi nikaingia kazi mwezi wa pili niko ingia kazi mwezi wa pili nilikuwa na vita nimengangana tu mwezi wa pili wa tatu wa ini, mwezi wa tano nikaanza kuwa mgonjwa nilipoambia watu wangu sisiki vizuri au kuchukua watu wa haraka nikaanza kutafuta ofisi nilileta huko ofisi ya huko nikiwaelezea shida yangu nataka ngikusikia mambo yangu so After three months waliniambia waizi nisaidia juu mama ameshaninunua so ninangane na kazi yangu. Nimekuwa nikivumilia lakini niko na shida moja. Kwa hiyo harakati ngoja ngakuwa mgonjwa hadi nikaanza kutokewa na vitu sehemu ya chini. Naumwa na tumbo, naumwa na chini ya tumbo. Yaani hata siwezi simama lakini inabidi nifanye kazi. So nimekaa tu nikingangana nikangangana ikanishinde ikabidi ni nikuwe ni mkali nao ndipo wakaninunulia dawa ya kuweka huko chini lakini waliponiletea dawa niliniambia ni kwa na growth lazima nifanyie operation nikauliza watanisaidia aje mama akaanza kulia pesa nyamelinunua nayo ni mingi anaambia ofisi mrudishie ile nirudishwe kwa ofisi ofisi imekataa So ilibidi wapewe namba ya ofisi ya Kenya nikaongea na ofisi ya Kenya. Ofisi ya Kenya ikasema mama ataki mtu anataka rudishiwe pesa. Kwa hiyo harakati tukakuja tukazozana hadi wakanyang'anya simu ya kwa mtaja karibu nikakuwa mtaja miezi tatu. So kukuwa mtaja miezi tatu nirudi nikanenekea kabidi tena nirudi tu chini kisa sandikuwa na sababu na ile pesa ni wananilipa nawaambia nipeleke nifanye shopping nunue vitu mbili tatu nikuwe nazo kilifika mahali sasa wananifichia kila kitu kwa ni wazee wanaficha ikiwa ni nini wanaficha so nikawa na sababu na ile nikiguza kiti yote imekuwa tu nikiguza kiti yote na ulizwa hii kiti imeishaje imekuwaaje so maisha yangu yako vizuri nashindwa ndasaidika aje kama ni agent wa Kenya hata namba yao ilinitokea ili, ili, kwa simu wakati yenye tulikuwa tunazozana nao ile walichukua simu yangu sijui inaweza saidika aje ningependa ni Mungu anisaidie nipate vile naweza pata matibabu juu kitu inakuwa wasi kila wakati unajua mwarabu kimuomba dawa ni kama una, unapoanga unakao unampigia tu makelele sasa ye dawa yake ni panadol na panadol airudishi kitu chini Sijui nitasaidika aje niko na growth na hii growth inaletea shida kabisa sehemu yangu ya kwenda choo na tumbo na teki nilemea hivyo siwezi kabla kufanya kazi 
nimekuwa nikifuatilia vile mnasaidia wa, wa Kenya wa Saudi nchi mbalimbali na nikaona hata mimi pia niongee shida yangu mnipe advice nifanye nini at least ile mtaniambia ndio nitafuata juu kuna watoto wananihitaji kuna maisha inanihitaji na nikizidi kuachilia growth for two years ikiwa inatoka hivi sijui kama nitakuwa mtu naomba tu msaada wenu mnipe advice nijue cha kufanya wa nianzia wapi waderito let me start with you mm. Sasa huo morabu atae naye anasema maneno na pesa amemnunua pesa mingi na je akaaga dunia anaweza fanya nini? Anaweza fanya nini na yeye? Ndipo sasa ninakuambia siku hizo waarabu hawaogopi Mungu sio kama kitambo. Unaweza nikanisha pesa na nini na uhai ya mtu kweli? Mtu uweze ukamnunua? I'm fearful and wonder free made. Hakuna mtu mwenye anaweza kununua hata na mabilioni ya pesa. Uhai ya mtu uweze ukainunua sasa kile tulisemanga hapo ni angeongea na ofisi imretea msichana mwingine alipressi huyo ikuwa ni serious wanaona ni mgonjwa alipressiwa msichana mwingine alipia huyo ticket arudi nyumbani ikiwa yeye haezi kumtreat amlipia ticket arudi nyumbani hiyo ndio njia mzuri na sasa kitu kingine tena nayo Iraq na kuambia ni tricky sasa huko hata ndio kubaya hata kuliko Saudi unajua kwa hata hakuna embassy ya Kenya hata consulate hakuna huo mtu anaweza yeah. saidio ni nani? Yeah. Yeah. Na kuambia uko ni tricky. Na hey, na watu yeah. wanafikiria aje kwenda presses zingine kama hizo for sure. Na tumewaambia, na tumewaambia. Agent mbona wanapeleka watu? Mbona mbona agent wanapelekanga watu country zingine kama hizo? Sasa huyo sasa yake kusema ukweli isipokuwa tu Mungu washuke. Nani atamsaidia? Frida comments to the kids. Uh, my agents too sijui wachukuliwa nyonge because some point tunashangaa but these girls kama if they wangekuwa tu wanajua anyone who goes to these arabic countries wanakuwa haikuwa kila mtu anakuwa ni kuuzwa that's one thing that, that, that they should know for a fact nakuwa kuuzwa because i remember that there was a time a friend of mine alikuwa ananiambia ti vile alikuwa anampa history ya ya hana alikuwa ananiambia ti na ati rafiki yake alikuwa anamwambia ati kuchukua kupeleka msichana mmoja kwa agent ni ni 10000 so you can imagine that's a that's a hassle mtu ana ukichukua okay, watu wawili that's 20000 umepata in a day sasa ni kuuzo wanauzwa hakuna kitu kingine zote mtu akienda anajua ni kuuzo wanauzwa sasa so in, in such a situation that's a very sad situation hata unashangaa hata ataanza wapi So your agent mwenyewe i don't know i don't know i don't know uh, before actually before be, be, before we proceed actually let me read the comment of my sister watoidi watoidi welcome you all is here both tv prime time show those who are tuning in uh this is a very intensive show we are having today what is some comment here watoidi nelson amahoka i hook shirts and i have educated my children up to university There is no much in hawking but I have joined chama ya miambili and by year by the end of the year I've school fees for a whole year back to you Bravo. Jerry mm. back to you Rashiri that comment ya watoidi what do you say about it kudos kudos <laughs> that shows me how my mom used to na kwanza in fact mamangu aliishi ku hook vitamba for us to survive vitamba hizi za leti za kuweka ukuta so and she made it work for us as much as it was wow. tough it was yes. tough so i mean sit back and asema aje the entrepreneur part of it aliona ange turudisha kwa baba yake lakini aliketi wow. chini akafikiria what can i do to survive because niko na familia niko na watoto 
Even right. though wasichana wale wasichana wanataka kwenda they should think what can i do with my own hands it's much easier it's much safer and you will get your own money in fact me waambia mtu pesa ya mtu ni tamu as in yeah the entrepreneur part of it because me have been entrepreneur since time i don't know nimekuwa tu entrepreneur but ebu angalia situation ya um msichana sai iraq yeah <sighs> it's so painful it's so sad but at the same time mm. tungewaambia wasiende it could have been a different debate mm. so i don't know you should think. so let's actually let's actually do a rerun of cases that we have been having here waderito frida paul minor and your friend jerry today as we, today as we discussed the story of julia wamoyo we had this story the story of Anna and Jerry Frida this is your family member bado tunaendelea kuzungushwa but uh, finally on sunday i was told by karanja that there was a phone call that was made that um, he will get a call from the airline company confirming when Jerry will be brought back home Jerry amakufia saudia so let's start from here we have here Julia saudia Jerry Saudia. Let's look at the list of all those people in that uh in that collage. Hana Wanjiko, Paul Muruki Wahira, na yule ambaye na Naomi Nyamboke ambaye alirudi last week Friday. You saw the video of how sad it was. Uh alipopokelewa wa kutoka Saudi all this 1 2 3 4 five straight cases that we have been documenting right here on Vo TV prime time show let me go back to Washira Maina umeona umeona hizo mambo and by the way nime um ningeongeza for example we also had ule ule kijana ambaye ame aligongwa na na truck ya Saudi uh, after just working for three months show ya leo i was supposed to actually you guys of nakuru you i think e show itakuwa inaitwa vo tv nakuru prime time show kwa sababu <laughs> i had another pastor kuna pastor alikuwa akuja leo anaitwa uh, pastor karioki he was to come and join the show today he's also from nakuru na alikuwa ameniambia kwamba kwa kanisa yake ameambiwa kuna kijana amekufia Saudi and he wanted to come here and talk about it maybe i'll get him tomorrow so hananjeri polin morogi wanjiko naomi nyakombe nyamboke nyakombe nyakombe all this every day every week every day every week na bado wana flood airports Paul um kuna ule let's tukuje kwa hii kesi ya tukuje kwa hii kesi ya ya Julia kidogo umesema ya kwamba mtoto wake hamjamwambia bado bado atijamwambia bana yake iko iko shule sasa hivi ndio nafanya fungu tutajamwambia kabisa Wow, ndio nafanya ndio nafanya form 4. Yeah, form 4 size. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Um that stuff. That stuff. I suggest uh we keep it like that for now. Uh, wanafanya when are they doing the exams at uh, KCSC? Is it, is it November? Kwa hivyo in one kama in one month eh. Yeah. November. So 
Uh, what I suggest here, let's go back to this. Let me to those who are watching again. We have we have been we have been having the, that was the main topic of the show today. Our sister Julia Wamoyo, who there are reports after missing for seven months that she is somewhere in Saudi Arabia in a hospital. But we still have to dig out for more information. What plan yeah. uh, the best the best thing kufanya ni of course kwenda kwa embassy let's start from there yes that, and for embassy that, also i'm scared because they're gonna harass me a lot so nikienda kwa embassy ni kwe na nime inform i family sasa akina maina akina washira nitachukua namba zao yaani nipatiane kwa embassy na wakipigiwa waulize kama wananijua waseme wananijua na wapeane majina yangu yote hivyo ndivyo kunaendaga kwa sababu nisipo pia hata nini na baza babake juria kwa sababu nisipofanya hivyo naweza nikashikwa na nirushwe ndani nikiambia mimi ndio nimehusikana na kifo yake so hata hapo bado ni tricky niko na god it is crazy. Yeah, because Abu, of course, uh, okay. Oh, by the way, something I'm going to do is minor. Uh, after before, actually, there's something I want to say here. What did it talk before when the Kwambasi on Monday? Minor Ukoma Lindi. Kunamtu ako ako area Nairobi. Yeah. Kunamtu ako karibu na Nairobi wa family. Yeah, kunao. Okay, what I'm going to say here and actually Frida, you know how we we've done this. Nani? Eh, Nelson, uh, my cousin anaitwa Joel. Mm-hmm. Na yeye ndio huwa ta nini? Huwa ananipa hadi ndio aliniambia kuhusu missing bila me missing hapo. Na nikamwambia report akaenda kwa nini foreign affairs, akaniambia mm-hmm. alienda hapo hivyo kwa nini kwa customer desk akaripoti na ajai patio feedback. So nikamwambia aongee na mkubwa wa embassy mwenye anakuwa Kuwait anaitwa um, kuna mkubwa wa embassy anaitwa Musioka, anakuanga Kuwait. Yeah. Mosoka kuna mm-hmm. maripenyeri mudi ataenda but hata hapo hivyo mm-hmm. bado hasaidika sasa foreign affairs Nelson sasa foreign affairs saki kusema ukweli but uh... Frida walikuwa si wamekuwa huko wakiwa na na, na karanja wa, wa, watu wa, ni watu wa kutuambia kwamba kuna network ya mvua and this is a minister of foreign affairs Nelson. Yeah. The better way ni kukuwa na any politician mwenye ko in power now anaweza aka command foreign affairs at least watawak. Either waende kwa governor ama kwa woman representative ama kwa mheshimiwa. Mm. Unaona watu mm. watatu hao au wataweza ku command mm. foreign affairs na itafanya kazi. Lakini wakienda bure bure mm. bila hao politician hakuna kitu yenye ita happen. Wow 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 wow. Okay, kwa hivyo kwa hivyo kwa hivyo Joel ashaenda kwa ali report kwa minister for foreign affairs. So what is what we going to do? Eh uh, wakati uh, wakati uh, jury alienda missing. Sio sio wakati wakati jury alienda missing. Ali report. Oh, that was seven. But so that was seven. Hakuna ya hakuna ene action ilitekiwa sasa eh, okay mimi nina okay nina jit, nitajitolea kabisa mimi sina shida but sasa hiyo harassing ya embassy na unaelewa hiyo embassy ya huku riadhi vile iko hiyo inaniweka maji bana na sikuja maji uh we we what I, what I, uh, i'll give you just my tip of advice uh we we always operate from a place of faith and not from a place of fear so yeah. Tunajua kwamba God will make a way. So my maina just my advice to you tafadhali pigia Joel simu na pia wadari to mpigia Joel simu. This one this one I'm going to do. Uh wa, wa make sure ya kwamba either kesho asubuhi na mapema ama by latest Wednesday warudi kwa Ministry of Foreign Affairs 
now vile nime break hii story kesi kuja kwa Vo TV it goes global so that's not even a secret wameona the reaction they know exactly what's going on this story of Julia wa moyo is all over the place kwa hivyo wa make sure wa merudi kwa minister of foreign affairs with this update na ile information ambayo Joel alipatiwa ikisema exactly that jina ya hospitali na kila kitu hiyo majina yote ipatianwe maina tafadhali connect na wa derito again umpatia all the information tell her uh, majina zenu majina za whatever familia whatever is needed ndio akienda pale kwa embassy akuwe ako prepared jerry let's come back to, i want us to conclude on uh, i want us to conclude uh, today's show with a message of empowerment especially to our community back home jerry i'm going to so i'll do i'll do with frida and jerry jerry nikakwambia kesho wenda kwa airport wamepanga mlolongo hapo na mtu airport airport nataka kwenda tu flying out is for vacation <laughs> yeah after okay. my hard earned so, money yeah. so to the to the youth so and say me youth because nimeona ni the ojv if that's the, the word these yes. young young people yes najua kuna hiyo yeah. joto getting on that mm-hmm. plane getting on that plane taking those mm-hmm. photos ikon in a letter shangwe but what you are going to face there reality will check in wanze kuangalia what ningekuwa huko in my own country ningekuwa nafanya nini first thing identify what you are good at because even biblia it talks about gifts talent that's right that's once right. you identify what you are good at pray for it that's right. don't just wake up and you know, decide you want to do it do your own research Yeah. have a plan that we no uh, guide you through us <laughs> where there's no where Because, there's no where there's no plan where there's no vision you will fail biblical exactly so yes. i first identify what you can do get that plan rolling mm. by writing down mm. what you want to do and get That's into right. it i've survived on prayers because every day I dedicate this business to a point that mm. nimefika have registered it too much has been done spiritual has been done for it to be here so is a matter like of that. believing in yourself like vlo meambia wa derito fear yeah fear fear ndo inatufanya usi move forward but the moment right. you are able in fact hata biblia inasema aje watu waoga watu wana ufalme wa binguni So yeah. the moment right. you decide this is what you're doing pray for That's it right. pray for it and pray for That's the right. knowledge and wisdom for you to be able to be consistent because nilisema the previous yeah. time if you look Hashtag at the money Pasadena. side of everything you will fall but the moment <laughs> you look at the impact it will make in the society in the long in long run wacha kuangalia hizi short term you want easy right. money easy money is not working this easy money will land you <laughs> you see do, do you listen do, do you yes. listen do you know what do you know what do you know what kenyans love eh? and mm-hmm. tambia ntongea in general kwa derito yeah wanataka waingie kwa shamba asubuhi walime asubuhi wapande ndio mm-hmm. alafu wataka ikifika, ikifika lunch mm-hmm. wavune iko imemea ndio <laughs> na wataka ikifika saa moja za jioni hapo kama alikuwa amepanda mahindi saa moja asubuhi ya, ya jioni ikue ni niunge ugali hiyo eh, ndio youth yenye tuko nayo Kenya sasa like it doesn't work like that frida let's um, um, 
you go at the airport, they are lined up, <laughs> they are going to the promised land. Talk to them. What would you tell them? Anyway, first of all, Njeri, you have spoken my mind. You have said exactly what I was thinking, yes. and I really hope so. People are taking people are taking whatever you are saying seriously. Notes. <laughs> notes. Yeah, I hope so. People are taking notes. notes here. Mm. Notes. Because what thing? Um, there is nothing. There is nothing easy. There is nothing that comes easily. Yeah. Uh, what easy come easy go? First of all, uh, Nelson, you should may maybe write a poll on your on your Facebook. Yeah, on your own. people. Yeah. As in, because I know most people right. who follow you are people from Saudi Arabia, and uh, I'm sure most of them are suffering there. Majority. Yeah. Majority yeah. are suffering. Ma ma majority are going there. They are not being paid. They should know making uh, is it twenty five thousand making twenty five thousand it's so easy it's so easy it's something that you can That's even right. make even twice if That's they believe right. in themselves. That's right. I wish I, I wish everyone could people could be asking the the kind of DMs you could be getting is Nelson I'm really thinking of going to Saudi Arabia can you give me a solution I I, I can do this and this and this but I don't know how to start. Yeah. From there, you can even refer me to that person. I can help. I can even offer myself to help and talk to that person. That's right. People so like you and uh, Vasheri. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I try and help uh, to, to help so many people because people, most people, they take so long to to identify their ability and to identify what they can, what they can do. Actually, one thing that we'll be doing here, or one thing that we are going to be doing here, uh, we will be having workshops. We'll be having these kind of workshops, empowerment workshops, entrepreneurial workshops, educating people of what you can do. There are so many things, especially right now with the, with the internet and the growth of the www.com uh, world. I'm telling you, there's so much you can do. The world has changed. This is the best time to be an entrepreneur. This is, there, you, can, you, you can 10x uh, uh, your income. While they did to talk to us out here, you can 100x your income by just using something called a simple smartphone. There's so much you can do. Technology yeah. is compressing is compressing the computer in something called the, the smartphone. This is your gateway to wealth. This is your gateway that you are to building a legacy. And we will be having these workshops here on Vote TV Primetime Show because, like I said, I'm here chasing my purpose. I'm here living a legacy that even a thousand, a hundred thousand years from now. People will be coming here and looking at what we are discussing today, and they will still be learning from it. Okay? Something I would like to say. Why did it tell me to come to Kanyuliza? Nelson, Uganda Kwa Airport, Sai. Where are the YouTubers? Where are the YouTubers? You can screen, you can screenshot and record this. Are you going to, you got you, that one, a very interesting content here, Kesho. Now. <laughs> if I went to the airport today, if I if I went to the airport today, <laughs> let me start by saying the first thing I will do, ni kutoa mushipi. Nifungue mushipi, ni ushike vizuri. Ni wambie, nyinyi wote kwa mbabu kukoyo mnolongo, kujeni yapa, ni wawekele, tano tano, togeviyaka. Apo ni pontanzia. Then the second thing I will do, ni kwambia mtu, before ata ufikirie, kwenda pale kwa check-in, kwa TSA, Tengiza kichwa, nafanya hivi, nafanya hivi. Kitengiza kichwa na kuleza, unasikia sauti ya ndufu ndufu ukondani. Ukisikia ndufu ndufu ukondani, my sister, ujue yo ni uji. You have to try your uji. Iyo uji lazima tunuage uwaji hapo. We have to replicate the uji na akili. Kwa hivyo, please, inamia motowe, unamisha kichwa, pande moja, uji kimuagika, sasa tunaweka akili. That is what I will do. Mimi ni Kenneth Mike with Amrioki. Ni kende ya potipi ya leo. So YouTubers, <laughs> ilikuwa ni komashi ya leo. You have a lot of, it, of, of, of content for tomorrow. Mutafata kesha huko. Hey, hey, hey. Nenda alikuwa na sema. Alikuwa na okia. So kuare. Anyway. Um, then, well, let me say again, thank you very much, guys. Asante ni sana. Wata ni mudundudishe my brother Paul. Um. Wadarito, thank you very much. Frida, thank you very much. 
Paul Miner and your friend Asantene Sana uh, and Gasheri. Thank you very much and may God bless your husband. Umamita nani? Wale Soyinka. Sorry. I don't Wala get it. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, to all the viewers, you guys have been amazing. Aziz, Moses, 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 Moses Kokach, Baby Baby, Shix J, Lucy Wanja, everyone who has been here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Tomorrow we'll be back. Same time, same place. The number one primetime show on this YouTube street. Asante Nisana, Familia Akara Yamaina, Mungu Apatienguvu, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Sawa. Okay, Paul. Okay, Gasheri. Gaderito. Saudia. Mushkila. Watu wanakuru. Have a nice evening. And see you, you tomorrow. Okay, you bye. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>